guys, I hope you're all well and welcome to day six of your home workouts. Today's workout is a good workout, we have two parts to it. Okay, part A, the first part. Today you're gonna complete four rounds, okay, of 12 alternating jumping lunges, we've done these already. 12 triangle push-ups, I will demonstrate those in the next video. And then 12 burpees over an object. Again, the object will become apparent in the video, but nothing that you can damage, fall, break, or, um, or do any damage to, okay? After you've completed four rounds of that, your score will be the time it takes you to do all four rounds. That is the score you're gonna put onto the leaderboard comments at the bottom of the post. You're gonna give yourself two minutes rest, okay? After that, you then have a 12 minute EMOM, every minute on the minute. Minute one, you are to hold a plank. Your aim is to do the whole plank for the whole minute. Don't worry if you don't finish the minute. You do 30 seconds, you stop, you rest for the remainder of that minute. You then roll into minute two, where you'll split that minute into two 30 second windows. And you'll hold a left plank for 30 seconds, and then hold a right plank for 30 seconds. Again, the coaching video will be coming after this. The third minute, you then do a core sit-up of your choice, whether it's a V-up, a crunch, a toe touch, whatever you decide, okay? That whole minute, you are continuously working for that minute. Then minute four, you're resting. Okay, guys, it's important that we get these conditioning sessions in at the end. You know, we can really concentrate on some quality conditioning work now that we're not in the gym and have time constraints. So, guys, today your home daily workout is two parts. Part A, four rounds for time of a triplet into part B after a two minute rest where you have a 12 minute EMOM of core conditioning. Okay guys, looking forward to seeing your results in the comments below later. Be safe and have a good day. Okay guys, your movement standards today for part A and then part B of day six workout. For the first part, part A, you have four rounds for time of three exercises. The first exercise is the jumping lunge, which we did yesterday. So very quickly, we're gonna go down, making sure we're stacked at each uh, joint at that 90 degree. We're staying on them train tracks and we're jumping like so. Okay, you're gonna do 12 of those. Straight into a triangle push-up. Okay, the triangle push-up, we're gonna make our hands like this. So we have a triangle there, okay? We're gonna go down into our press-up position our hands together making that triangle. We're gonna go down to our chest, touch our triangle, then come back up. Very challenging push-up, okay? Same as all regressions for, um, for push-up. You can do the same here, okay? You can go to your knees, cross your legs over, making sure you maintain that straight line from the shoulder all the way down to the ankle. And we're doing the same. We're going to take the chest down to the triangle, and then push back up. That is the triangle push-up, guys, okay? You do 12 of those. And then you do 12 burpees over an object. I've picked a boxing glove that I have lying around here. That's gonna be what I'm jumping over. Same standard as a burpee that we're all used to. We go dead down, touch the chest to the floor, stand back up, and we're gonna jump over that object, okay? And complete the next rep. Once you finish your 12 uh, burpees, you then start again. That's one round complete, 12 lunges, 12 triangle push-up, 12 burpees over object, four rounds for time. Once you recorded your score, okay, take a two minute rest, whatever that is, then you're into your 12 minute EMOM. First one, first minute is the plank hold. Okay, from the side, we're gonna go down, as if we're holding a box in front of us, okay? Hands don't come together. Thumbs up to the sky, you can clench your fist if you wish. From there, toes firm into the ground, and we brace that core coming up, okay? Trying to squeeze this bit here, okay? Once I'm there, and maintain the straight line for that one minute hold. Okay, that's very simple. From there, we're gonna go into the second minute. The second minute, that we broke down into two 30 second blocks. The right plank and the left plank. Simply, we're gonna come onto our side like so and hold this position, okay? If you want to progress that, you can take your foot off, you can take your arm off and hold this position here. Simply, this is the easiest way to hold that right plank. And then simply, you swap sides, okay, for your next 30 seconds. 
Once you've done 30 seconds on each side, you then go into your third minute, which is a core exercise of a sit-up. So you can either do your crunches, you can do a half sit, you can do a toe tap, you can do a toe touch, a V up, whatever. You